This is Scott from KIG. This is another one of our five ton coolant coolers, air cooled chillers that we're going to do a test uh, for our customer for a runoff. It's due to ship uh, tomorrow. We're just going to turn the power on here quickly, get the pump going. Oh, I'm sorry. Press the on button. And hit the pump button. Uh, this one, uh, 460 volt, 5 ton coolant coolers chiller. This one is serial number 28971. Again, 28971. R407C refrigerant. Uh, we have the uh, water in the tank uh, about 20 degrees C, which is in that 70, deg 70 degrees Fahrenheit range. We're going to change the uh, set point here and bring it down to its lowest setting, which is 5 degrees C. You do that by pressing set and then simply uh, keep your finger on the down button. And press set. And the next thing you do is we press the compressor button. And it's going to go into a time delay. It's a built-in time delay, about 90 seconds or so, before the unit will actually start chilling. It's got about a 48-gallon tank, and we just have a uh, loop set up here. Uh, the top connection is your two process. The bottom is your from process. The water piping on this with our uh, one-horsepower pump. Um, it's designed for a uh, closed loop system, meaning you're going to send uh, directed chilled water to something like a heat exchanger or a jacket or a coil or something of that nature. Um, we have brand new air filters here. Um, it's a dual pair. And peeking inside, you can see that's our water inlet. There's a side glass. In the corner there is our, uh, our fill indicator sensor. Um, if the tank gets too low, including the tank gets too low, it's going to shut off. That's our Sanyo scroll compressor back there. Here is our braze plate heat exchanger. Uh, we, do, we did install brand new uh, stainless steel lines for the refrigerant uh, going back to our uh, high and low pressure switch here. And these units got all brand new controls. Uh, one nice thing about the controls is we have uh, a variety of error messages. Overload, compressor, pump, fan, pressure too high, pressure too low. It also has a phase uh, monitoring uh, feature. So uh, everything is synchronized here at the shop but if the phase is going in the wrong direction, it won't even let you start. So there's really no danger of rotating that compressor in the wrong direction, which is a bad thing if you do that. Uh, so you can hear that it just kicked on. We're starting to chill already. We'll probably take, uh, we'll come back for video number two shortly to show uh, as we meet the set point here.